In this video, we are going to work with Quotient Splats in Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to show you a free way to render Quotient Splats inside UE 5.3. This is going to be totally insane. So if you like are using Quotient Splats for the first time or if you want to try this out, this video is perfect for you guys. So Gaussian splatting is literally insane. It's like the next step of photogrammetry and like the next step in like the 3D pipeline, literally. So it doesn't use PBR. It doesn't use polygons. So as you can see, it first generates a point cloud and then those point clouds are like used to calculate and like spawn Gaussians. So we are getting photorealistic results in real time. This is not even using my GPU. It's running in the browser pretty crazy stuff just imagine that if this tech gets integrated in games so gaussian splatting is similar to nerves like neural uh, radiance fields again if you want to know more about this uh, technical stuff i'll leave links down in the description so it's pretty interesting i would suggest uh, highly suggest you to like read about it Okay, so let's start by first downloading the plugin. So we need to get this plugin right here. Links are down in the description. So just go right here, click right here on the release. So version 1.0 is released. So it's pretty stable. So if you're using Unreal Engine 5.3, download the 5.3 plugin. So I'm going to download that. So you need to extract this zip file. And after that, you'll get this folder. Just go in this folder and you'll see the binaries folder, content folder and all of this, right? So you need to copy this folder. Okay, so just browse to where you have like installed Unreal Engine. So go in the engine folder. Inside the engine folder, we need to go in the plugins folder now. And these are all the plugins. And you need to paste that folder here. So I have already pasted it right there. So I'm just going to give you a surface overview of what I've added in terms of lighting. So I've added the directional light. I've added the exponential height fog. I've added the post process volume, the sky atmosphere and the skylight. Okay. After that, let's enable this plugin. So to enable the plugin, go to plugins. So you need to enable this Gaussian splatting plugin and restart the engine. Okay, so after restarting the editor now, we need some Gaussian splats to import, right? So go to Polycam and this is a good place to like test out different uh, Gaussian splats. So you can download these for free. So this is a .ply file. I've downloaded a couple of these. So let's test them out. I'm going to import this car Gaussian splat. So once you've imported this, you'll see some folders being created. So you'll have a blueprint. You'll have a position texture. So this texture contains the position information. Next, you have the rotation texture. So this has a rotation values and quaternion. So next you have scale values and next you have the color texture. So this contains the color information of the Gaussians. So let's open up the blueprint because everything happens in the blueprint, right? All of these textures and this information is combined in the blueprint. And there we go. You can see that we have our Gaussian splat. Now the orientation of this is a bit weird, right? It's rotated 90 degrees on the Y axis. So let's import this in the level. And there we go. We have our Gaussian splat. Thank God nothing crashed because I have had issues with this previously, like it was crashing a lot. Now I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and bring it above the grid. Looks pretty good. I mean, this is totally incredible and the applications of this, I mean, this could be literally used in VR and in games. It's totally crazy and this gets even crazier. So right now it's not affected by the light. But if you enable this option, this Gaussian splat is going to be affected by the lighting in your level. 
you can see how our scene is changing and adapting. This also works with point lights, spotlights and area lights. Ok now let's import a large scale Gaussian splat and this is going to be totally insane. We are going to follow a similar process, we are going to import this. So we get 4 textures which contain the position, rotation, the scale and the color information and we get one blueprint. So I'm going to open this blueprint and this is just massive as you can see. So let's add this in our level. And as you can see, this is incredible. You can see how this will change the industry, the VFX industry and even like games, like it's crazy. Okay, now one thing that I wanted to show you is how to like crop your Gaussian splats because if you have like like a large scale map, you have like glitches and stuff like that, right? So let's learn how to like crop this. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to add a location volume. This is an empty cube. This is an empty cube volume. And the idea here is like whatever is in this empty cube is going to be rendered. So it's like a culling mask, right? Okay, so I'm going to scale this up. After that, you need to go in the Gaussian splat. You need to specify a reference to that. So all the stuff that's inside the bounds of this volume is going to be rendered. And as you can see, this works so beautifully. I mean, we don't get any frame drops. And I've added the ultra dynamic sky and you can see how the lighting affects this huge map. You could even substitute the ultra dynamic sky with HDRIs, right? with the HDRI backdrop and that's going to give you even more realistic lighting. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to make a video on this as soon as possible because <laughs> this is totally crazy. Let me know if you guys like this video and if you guys want more videos on this, please let me know if you guys like videos on like such um, like latest uh, stuff, right? Thank you so much for the support that you guys are giving me. Really, I'm humbled and thank you so much for like the support on Patreon as well. So yeah, that's it. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take care.